This is the case study of Ms. B, another informal cross-border trader that we spoke to as part of our research for the USAID Southern Africa Trade Hub's gender assessment on women and informal cross-border trade in Southern Africa. Ms. B is from Lalongwe, Malawi, and she has a tertiary diploma in business management, and she's been in business since she was a teenager. She became a model, and she started her own modeling agency in Malawi. To facilitate this modeling agency, she began transporting cosmetics, clothes, and shoes from South Africa. Soon, women began to admire her look and asked, where can I get these items? She recognized another business opportunity and she began selling these products within Malawi. While this was initially a sideline business to help support her modeling business, which was her larger business, it became very profitable and high demand in its own right. She solidified business relationships with business suppliers in South Africa, and she became a regular cross-border trader. She soon expanded to a wide range of products as her customers began requesting groceries, cooking products, phones, TVs, and even refrigerators. She said that each new item she trades requires learning on how to get that good across the border, how much to sell it for, and so on. She said her trading business very quickly overcame her modeling business and it's now her main source of income. Overall, Ms. B says she makes a good living that allows her to provide for her daughter and that she's well respected for her work. She says she uses a small border crossing at Mulanji because she can get her goods across more easily. She can get her goods across more easily because she's developed friendships with some of the border agents there. Now, when pressed further, we found that some of these friendships come at a pretty high personal cost. Ms. B indicated that she frequently experiences sexual harassment, uh, sexual exploitation, and gender-based violence from border agents who request or require sexual favors in order to let her get her goods across. She admitted that she typically complies with these requests from border agents, and she sees it as a necessary cost of doing business and a trade-off for her economic success. She also indicated that if she has to provide a sexual act to get her goods across, it was better to do it on her own terms. Consequently, she had developed a customs boyfriend, and she felt that in having this known relationship with one border agent, let's call him border agent X, it meant that border agents Y and Z were less likely to demand sexual favors from her because they knew she was in this relationship. That meant she had some ability to negotiate the what, the when, and the where, and, the most, por and most importantly, the with whom in terms of these encounters, but said that it was a constant tightrope in negotiating her relationship with this customs official and their sexual encounters.